Now I'm going to get you a logo, or rather a couple logos, that will go on a light background like this, or a dark background like we're going to set up later. To get our logos, I like going to logomaker.com. That's logomaker without the e, dot com. And it's really easy to get started with a logo. All you need to do is search graphics in the upper left, and you can search something cool like palm tree. Those are probably never going on style. Or you can search something a little more abstract like triangle. And you're gonna get all these really cool looking triangles. Or you could search something which I usually end up going with, which is a compass. I don't know why, I just like the compass. It sort of says that our website gives someone direction. It's worked for us in the past, I don't know. And then you're just gonna to wanna to find a really simple logo. It's gonna be tempting to pick a complex one with a lot of features on it. But for something to actually look good on a background like this, it's gotta be simple. And we're just gonna pick this one to pick your logo. And we're just gonna pick this one right here to pick your logo, just click it, it'll fill in the screen. And you might say, that's not a compass, to which I would respond, are you a compass maker, little rabbit? Okay, so compass color. We want the exact color to go on our logo, whatever it is, if it's a compass or a palm tree, whatever it is. So to find an exact color, you can go back to your website. There's a number of ways to do it, but if we know we want this blue right here, we can just click edit with Elementor, click on the button to open up its settings, and then we're gonna click on style. We know it's the blue already, but if we click on the background blue, it'll also give us the six digit hex. We wanna highlight this, copy it including that pound sign, and come back to Logo Maker. Then just put that hex in right here. Just highlighted it and paste it. And we'll get the blue. Now you can also click on it to make it a little bigger. You just drag in the corners. If you wanna change the proportions of it, hold shift and then click and drag, and you can do anything like that. If you don't like how it looks, hit Command or Control Z to undo. You can also add some text to your logo right here. This is just a little logo tutorial, by the way. You didn't realize this was how to make a logo, but it's also how to make a website with a logo. So if you wanna write in some text that's super easy, just go ahead and add your text, and you can also make that text the same color. Just keep it selected and make sure that you paste in that hex again right there, and now you have a blue logo and a blue compass to describe it, or something like that. Once your logo is ready, click on the crop button in the lower right. That'll just crop it down, but make sure to click enter so it actually crops. Now we can click save logo in the upper right corner. And we're gonna use the option on the right. All right, we're gonna do it for free, but you have to make sure to give credit to the logo makers themselves. So to do that, click paste this code first, this link right here. Now go back to WordPress and just come back to your dashboard by clicking on the pancakes, exit to dashboard. I know this is a little bit of work, but we always gotta make sure we're doing the right things with giving credit and go to pages, add new, and I'm just gonna help you set up your credits page. All right, so you can just call it credits. All right, and then we can just paste those credits in the text tab here because it's gonna be a little bit of code with a link. Great, so now it has a link. You can go to visual and this is what the credits will look like. Then we're just gonna click publish, and so yeah, make sure to add this page to your website. All right, now let's get that logo posted. Back in Logo Maker, we can click download and agree to give credit. It's gonna give us the download file for the logo. So we're just gonna call this star because it's really more of a star than a compass, blue logo. Very cool, and save it. Now before we leave this Logo Maker window, I wanna give us a light version of this logo. So close this window, click on the logo again, and we're gonna drag that blue color into something more like a light gray. A very subtle light gray that'll look good on a dark background. All right, I think it's gonna be somewhere in this corner is what we want. Perfect, eBeef1. All right, great, now just save this one. And we can copy the credits again just to be super complete. All right, and then paste them in. And update the page, and we're just gonna download. We're gonna call this one Star Gray logo and save it. So now you should have two more logos than you had when you started this tutorial and let's go and put one of them on our website. Let's go back to the editing window and we're going to be in customize here. Go back to the arrow and now we're just going to click on header. All right now we want to click on logo and in the logo selected no logo selected area click select logo. Select files and this will start searching your computer and we're gonna click on wherever the logo went to, in our case it's documents, and I'm gonna click on one and then the other one, I'm just holding command here, and then I'm gonna click open. 
That's all you need to do to get both of them on your site. All right, and now we can try out the blue one because it's selected right here, and we'll just click select. We're gonna skip cropping because that would make the logo look different or smaller. Give it a second. And there we have our new logo, but it looks huge. We definitely don't want it to cover up capture and all that. So go down here and drag that max width to something a little bit more appropriate. All right, so I like my logo small, not too small, but definitely not too big either. I'd rather it's smaller than bigger because it can get distracting if it's too big. Sometimes you see people's blogs and like the upper one third of their screen is a logo. Uh -uh. All right, that size works for me. You can also change the max height if you want, but uh, I'd rather just leave that one alone. We won't change that. So if you change one of them by accident and you want to make it go back to how it was, just bring it back all the way to the left and it should reset.